Hello everybody, it's Android Gamer, and today I'm playing Get Friend, I'm continuing on with the Get Friend Zone 2, or Got Friend Zone 2, so now we're going into the basement. Okay, one week later, where are we? Stand in front of a metal door. Uh, let's wait. Come in, Nick. You walk into the basement. There are two people each sitting in a chair, unconscious. One person is wearing a hat. The other has blonde hair. The second person raises her head, revealing a big piece of duct tape over her mouth. What's going on? Someone is standing in the shadows and stares, start, and speaks to you in dramatically al digitally altered voice. You're going to have to make a choice, Nick. What are you talking about? It's simple. Choose between these two girls. So it looks at like you trying to scream. The kidnapper holds an, a weapon. I'm going to give you 10 seconds if you don't make a choice. I'll choose for you. I'm counting down. Well, you're not even giving me a choice, so. Well, what a shame. You close your eyes for your breath. That it? During this chapter, will you choose to create a different outcome? That was a tell me future. Zoe and I, Zoe sent you two voicemails 15 minutes ago. I shouldn't have voice. Hey, um, I, I just voice. wanted to let you know that Chloe sent me a message and I have to thank you because she told me that you want to come with you to, I don't know her at all, but uh, she convinced me to give her a chance. Wait two seconds. Um, she seems to know many things about Amy. Let me know what you think about her. Okay. By the way, thank you so much for talking to Sylvie concerning Brian. I couldn't tell her first for uh, some reasons. I, I'll tell you later. Hey, Zoe. Hey, Nick. Were you able to listen to my voicemails? Yes, I was able to listen to them. And? What do you think about Chloe? I need your advice. <laughs> attractive. I trust her. What about you? Well, on one hand, I want to trust her, but there's something not quite right about her. Uh, yeah, let's go with that one. I mean, just because she says her adopted sister, her biological sister. Yeah. This chick comes out of nowhere and tells us that she's been looking for Amy and on her own for a year and now she needs our help or needs help. However, it seems to me that Amy definitely trusted her. Yeah, it sounds like it. 
Hurts realized that Amy hid that from me. I thought she trusted me with everything, but maybe it's just me that has the wrong definition of trust. What do you think? What do you think the word means? Because I feel like we all have our own definition. Not only trust ourselves, trust is one of the most important things that exists. That is very true. I have the same belief. I think that trust is a beautiful gift that nature has given us. I think that we too often forget about people in our lives who would do anything for us, focusing instead on people who care nothing for us. And I just, I'm just as guilty. It's so beautiful and true. We all got someone we count on and someone that counts on us. Truth is also a dangerous weapon. Yes, that is very true. Truth is a very dangerous weapon because uh, truth can hurt and break relationships and break down people sometimes. But I'm going to go with that we count on each other. Once again, I completely agree with you. Well, it looks like we got a mini adventure waiting for us. I'm glad you're by my side. You know, we haven't had much time to see each other a lot. But I definitely, but I think I've already figured you out. Have you now? Yes. <laughs> oh, really? Is that so? I think that you're someone who has been through a lot in life both good and bad, but that you're often use, you often use the bad to your advantage in order to fight and become a better person in the process. How do you know all that? Ah, uh, that's a secret. It's just that I feel like we're both under we both understand each other intentionally, intuitively. Yeah, I feel the same way. Feels reassured. Let's keep talking next to the park where you live. Let's not go to the beach. <laughs> well, the park isn't the place I go that often, but I can make an exception for you. For now, I'll get, I gotta leave you, I have a meeting with someone. I'll be available next week if you wanna go, same day, around 6.30. Hey, good night, Zoe. Good night, Nick. Yo, oh, kiss me. That night, I knew she would be hurt by Chloe's announcement. She has such a beautiful soul, whom soul desire is to dance on sand dunes of confidence and the higher they are the stronger her desire to surround herself with similar souls confidence as according to her the most beautiful treasure on earth why did she believe that she had managed to place such strong values strong value on strength of relationships simply because she had only ever really tasted it. I don't know everything about her, but when she confides in me, she has always been honest and transparent 
she counts on me, and I can't let her down. Like that night, she told me not to let her down Amy. Mm-hmm. Intimate. You have some time to get to know Zoe before you both leave to investigate the house. Arrive early. Meet me in the house. Okay. So he walks towards you. Hey. Hey, it's finally late. I was with a friend. Japanese exchange student. He, he just... He's just here for a week. I love Japanese culture. I do too. Especially the food. When this whole mystery is solved, I plan to leave this place and go live abroad. Amy and I, our dream was to be able to travel. Uh, maybe the dream will still come true. I'm sure the dream will come true. Careful, those false hopes could wreck my t tender artist's heart. Haha. <laughs> hey, by the way, I got message. I got Chloe's message. Did you? Yeah, let's reply back since it was in less than an hour. It'll take us about half an hour to get back to my place. Let's enjoy this time together then, just you and I. Yep, let's enjoy the moment. Walk down the trail. Closing your neck, I can't help. See how beautiful it is. What are you looking at? Uh, nothing, just lost in thought. Look elsewhere. Let's see what happens if I say I was just looking at you. <laughs> at least there's some people who live who are living a comfortable life. I mean, nothing proves they have a comfortable life, but right now they seem to be living in peace. Life is can be so beautiful, it's a shame that not everyone can experience it. Well, it's not the end of the world. I find that too often we complain about nothing. That's what makes the whole world the good get along, the good along with the bad. Let's go with that. Which would make that perfection, which would mean that perfection is made up of many imperfect impurities. I love looking at things that way. Did that leaf just go backwards? <laughs> For example, a person, a person can have an imperfection which gives them a certain charm, but at the same time, not all imperfections are that are that way. Uh, let's go with you have an example in mind. Uh. <laughs> For example, there are certain men and women who are rather heavy, heavier set, but who are actually more beautiful than, with the curves. I see what you mean. So he smiles. Well, anyway, 
Confronting all these questions about life is good and and all, but we have some answers. We have to answer them as best we can. And we have a very important question that needs to be answered tonight. It's going to rain tonight. Yes, is Amy still alive? Exactly. It's been a mystery for over a year now. By the way, it's going to actually start raining tonight, but I didn't plan to. But I was planning for it and got some gear in my bag. Help me remember to pack my courage, too. I've got some, just in case. We got all the courage down deep down in us. Don't be afraid. We'll go with that. Well, well, we won't make it very far if you're the only one with the brains. Which reminds me of something I want to talk to you about. I know that you never heard much about this, but Amy wasn't living alone with Christopher and Sylvia. There was also Lily, her little. Lucy, her little sister. Really? Yes, but since you don't talk that much to Amy, since you didn't talk that much to Amy, it's not surprised you had no idea. She's a bit younger than Amy, but she'll soon be the same age Amy was when she disappeared. She's super smart and spends her time writing. Anytime... Inspire, inspiration strikes. She grabs a pen and paper and writes it down. Writes it all down. Let's see. Can I see what she looks like? Say nothing. I don't even know that. I mention all of this because she likes quotes, and the ones she writes down are all related to courage. What's your favorite quote? The choice is supposed to, to give you newfound insight. Well, you must choose between the hard and easy path. Conquer the hard to unleash the, the best inside of yourself. Uh, that's kind of... That's the kind of thing I break down at dinner parties to sound intelligent. <laughs> no. Yes, it's unique. She always speaks with immense wisdom, much like her older sister. Uh, by the way, you and I were supposed to talk about something. Don't you remember... Oh, we'll see. Don't know what the the thing was, so I'll say I'll meet hope to meet her one day. You will. Speaking of Lucy, I asked Chloe why she didn't reach out to her as well. She didn't give me a straight answer. Uh, maybe lack of trust. Maybe. Oh, Nick, it's time to go. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's go then. Oh, wait, here goes nothing. I'm starting to think that Inviting Zoe to walk with me that night was the best decision I could make. The whispering breeze at the beginning of the evening was rubbing off on our conversation, softening our words and amplifying our emotions. It is true that we must not forget to seek the answers to our questions, because we certainly have a lot of questions since Amy's disappearance. For my part, my conf 
my consciousness was bothering me as much as Zoe's was. The more unsolved questions there were, there are, the more choices available to me, and the slower I am able to make headway. And slowly I am able to make headway. I will soon. I will need to act soon, and act with the courage that Lucy, Amy's little sister, has was describing. Let's go! Well, I'm going to leave that for the next episode and see where we go from there. Uh, so, you read in the meeting place half an hour later. Zoe is visibly anxious, afraid of what she might discover after a year of unanswered questions. But I said that will continue on for the next episode. If you want to see the next ones, please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you receive uh, all my future no notifications. It's Android Gamer, Layer Days, and Happy Gaming!